In this video series, you'll learn how to choose the best one bag travel backpack for you. Hey, I'm Tom, the founder of Pack Hacker, and we're a team of frequent to perpetual travelers that do travel gear reviews, share our tips and tricks, and make guides just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. I have even spent one year living out of this 40 liter GORUCK GR2 exclusively. This one. When it comes to choosing a backpack for one bag travel, there are so many different brands and models out there with varying degrees of style, durability, and price points. And it's hard to tell what's gonna work for you. In this guide, we'll cover some things to consider before you end up pulling the trigger on a new bag. And we'll show you some things to look out for, even if you're unable to go look at the bag in person before buying it online. Let's jump right in. This guide will be broken up into a couple different videos for the different themes that we're gonna cover. So if you're on YouTube, we'll be sure to link everything up in the description below if you wanna skip around it all. And if you do have a specific bag in mind, be sure to head over to packhacker.com and hopefully we'll have a review on it. If not, let us know in the comments what you're looking at and we'll try to help out. We also have this guide available in written format as well. So if that's more of your jam and you wanna read, then feel free to check that out. We'll do our best to try to keep that guide updated as well. So here's the bottom line. There really is no best travel backpack out there. So in this guide, we're all about arming you to kind of get you to a position where you can make the selection based on your needs. And hopefully we can teach some of our learnings with you and make it a little bit easier for you to select. So why backpacks? A lot of people ask me this and I do have a couple of reasons for that about why I personally prefer one. Sure, roller bag luggage is great and you can kind of fit a lot more in there, but there's a couple reasons why I personally prefer backpacks and a lot of our team members at Pack Hacker also prefer them. So number one, they feel very freeing. When you land, uh, get to a new location, uh, instead of needing to hop over to your Airbnb, your hotel, or your hostel right away, if you do pack right and pack minimally enough, you're free to go do whatever you want for the rest of that day. When it comes to standard roller luggage, you're kind of restricted to a certain terrain as well. It's gonna be easy to drag that thing across the airport, but when it comes to, you know, maybe even a cobblestone road, you may start to run into more problems and forget about trying to go take a day hike directly when you land on your flight and you don't have anywhere to drop your luggage. Travel backpacks are usually versatile and lightweight. When you are gonna be wearing something for a prolonged period of time, it kind of forces you to pack more minimally and really consider what you're gonna be taking with you. And that not only kind of frees up your mind because you have less things to think about, but it also frees you up physically. You can move from, again, location to location without that extra bulk. And you can be a lot more nimble and a lot more quick when you're traveling. So in this guide, we're going for travel versatility. We want you to look good when you're exploring a new city. We want you to feel good when you're walking around with it. And we want to kind of find the perfect pack that's going to fit in multiple situations. It needs to be durable and rugged and weatherproof enough for you to be able to go camping for a couple days and kind of go on an adventure outside of the city. But again, it also has to look good so you don't stick out like a sore thumb. If you're hanging out in a cafe or you're trying to get some work done in the coffee shop for a day, we want a pack that's gonna fit in both of those environments equally. We do mention a couple different packs in this guide and a lot of them we've reviewed already and kind of collected our thoughts on. So we'll try to share those insights for you and kind of compare and contrast different choices for one bag travel. So thanks for taking a look at the first video in the series on how to choose the best travel backpack for you. And be sure to take a look at the next video for more.